been playing recently. They've been really racking up the numbers, as a new team needs to do. Vitality been quiet of late, so they may be cold starters into this one. They'll be starting on the CT side, Vitality, here on Nuke. They've managed to win the knife round despite knifing each other in the knife round. Yeah, Apex stabbed two of his teammates in a knife round, and yet they start on the CT side. Instilled so. confidence in the whole team. Very interesting indeed. And Apex will, of course, be towards main for the time being. Body quickly making his way over with the Glock. Apex has fallen back. He's got plenty of sound because he's got smokes towards the hell position. On he goes. Apex now has got some high ground advantage with one of his teammates, but trying to find his first kill here. And there it is. Afro taken down towards Secret. Lucky NBK and Body remain. Man, disadvantage for now. Almost a trade of positions as um, you've got MBK holding down the ramp area. Shox gets one tap to that P250. There are more players on B to be dealt with. That was an interesting line to get inside of Hell, jump through the window. But once it happened, because they got the other two kills, it becomes this giant lurk battle now. And MBK has to make something happen. He's on to somebody, but there's also a timing here for Apex. Apex wins that duel, and quickly we're into the 2v3. More lurking still going on, though, as the CTs try to reclaim some map control. Plenty of time remaining, considering how fast Double Pony started this one. Body up the ladder. Lucky's really important now, as he is the bomb carrier. Plenty of players around the A-bomb site just looking to land something. Two in the red for Vitality, so Lucky is not going to be unlucky on this occasion. Zyru starting well. Body taking some damage, but this is still clutchable just based on how much uh, health two of these three players have. You can see Apex will be the last man standing downstairs. 19 seconds now, really got to find these kills. Finally, Zaiwu eliminated, but there's one right behind him. Off the bomb plant, he's got to commit to it now, surely. Going for the fake again, Apex oh. down, and now it's just Kyojin, 19 HP. Commits this time, Body. Bomb is planted. Kyojin on the way. Got to be real careful. And there it is. The clutch from Body. Didn't see that one coming. But again, low health was uh, the problem there for Vitality. Man, that couldn't have been more well played. I mean, the way he isolated the fights. And then, first of all, Bomb gets dropped. But it's because someone goes up in heaven and sees two in front of the vents and realizes that this is a chance to get a kill before you put the bomb down. So he takes that risk. But when it gets to the 1v3, you think, all right, there is just no way you can do this. Even though two players are low, they can cover so many angles. It's going to be hard to get a plant. Body sections out those fights so well. I mean, that couldn't have been done better by him. And uh, Zaiwu was pretty much the only one that could have stopped that coming up the vent. And he had the worst rotation. So that's very impressive. I mean, I'm feeling, feeling very good about my double pony pick at this point. Yeah, that was a, a great start. Lead by example. Vitality tried to keep the numbers alive. Even the bait set up in the hut position. Just one player showing there for Vitality. And they reduce outside and then go for that wrap towards hell. And it goes into the 3v3. And then suddenly it's no longer about the game plan. Clearly at first it was try to sneak body into hell, knowing they might be up in heaven, and then see what happens. But like they try to do that. CTs get the first two kills outside and things go south. So none of that round was a plan for and could be accounted for. They still managed, managed to find a way out. Got a rare UMP from Lucky. Somewhat gone missing that weapon since the uh, damage drop off was increased. Masuta gets popped in A and here come the numbers for Double Pony. Two rifles in tow as well and likes of body and NBK. Rare MP5 from Afro. MP7 is uh, better by most accounts. Of course, there are no traces with the silenced weapon, so spraying through smokes is something. But other than that, the MP7 is pretty solid in comparison. Yeah, it's also a bit expensive, though, James. It is indeed. It costs a lot. More armor penetration, if I'm not mistaken, mm. with the MP7. And, uh, I mean, the MP5 doesn't hit like it used to. I mean, the 1.6 MP5, it just it had different. It just felt different. It felt yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt like a more substantial weapon. There was more like kickback on the recoil or something, so it felt like more involved when you'd shoot. You know the UMP-45 uh -huh. is the successor to the MP-5? I didn't know that. Yeah. Like in real life? Yes. Oh, okay. It's got the tactical stock, the tactical folding stock, but indeed the, uh, the UMP is, you know, prior to the MP-5 being introduced. Ever since you started coming to America, you just learned so much about weapons. Yeah, I've, had a lot, <laughs> I've been to a lot of ra ranges. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, that was a pretty interesting stat, actually. Hmm. 
Okay, so it's a good start here for Double Point with the two rounds and, you know, confidently one on that last one as well. So they'll keep on to some of these SMGs and it looks like they're going to keep the tempo high. Squeaky gets blown open. They'll put some pressure onto Huts. That's a scout pressed up outside, but uh, it's actually not a full commit upstairs. Instead, they're going to slow it down even more and they get Apex to commit to a peak and that's a kill. Will this spur them on? Ooh. So far, so good from Shox. Trying to reset the situation. Find some more headshots. Saibu considering making a play, but I think things slowed down enough for him to fall back. Kyojin lost in the meantime. Saw that early execute with grenades into the uh, mini position from Double Pony. Which, funnily enough, Apex used to be a victim of that versus the Classic versus Pro Team many mm. moons ago. I actually made a video of him eating those double grenades like five years ago. <laughs> you can find them. He like just has no scar tissue, though. Just <laughs> loves playing that spot. Absolutely. Yeah, beautiful face. <laughs> Beautiful face on that man. Yeah. Well, there were three weapons saved from Vitality, including that Deagle on shots from the round prior. So this is still dangerous. Pursuit with some nice damage there. Body just about holding on. Time starting to get low, and Vitality look to be concentrating their efforts towards the A bomb site here. I like this point. Yeah, it is decision time, and he's is oh I was putting pressure now. There's still three up. Thirty seconds. They should be all good. It's small chance. I mean, of course, it's Zaiwu, so you're going to give him uh, a moment to just see what he wants to do with the round, but he doesn't get the kill. They end up getting the, the frags, and it's all good. But you get you start to get cr past that point. The only issue of being inside Hut around that time marker is that if you are going under the 30-second mark, then it becomes obvious you are going to hit upstairs. That's the real issue, that you know, suddenly it's clear that they can't even try to go down lower. If you have info on two player players who are just in ramp or whatever, it becomes obvious, so... I think you were like, right on the nose with that. They just had to make a decision. And luckily the kills came. Enough. So we can see that Double Pony broke the glass into the a bomb site very early on. Maybe trying to bait out some utility from Vitality early on here. For the... So if they are to have a double pump in the bomb site then, we'll see how Vitality are able to deal with things. That'll certainly help the smoke of the squeaky door. I think they're ready to just try again. It looks like they have a flash still outside, though Afro's now starting to come back. It looks like they popped the flash and they didn't go through the exec because the late uh, squeaky smoke came down from the CT side. So whether or not Vitality know it, this might have saved them, but it seems like they're onto it. They're re-smoking squeaky once again, and Double Pony looked like they were geared up to try it. And here's the point at which, even if it doesn't actually have an effect on what the decision is for Double Pony, they're scared because they don't have outside control. They haven't tried anything else. So now they're starting to think, why are we so obvious? Squeaky is going to get re-smoked again. Well, Double Pony have two smoke grenades. And it looks like they were maybe considering going to T-Spawn to get a wall of smoke outside. But it quickly turned things around. They need to show some presence somewhere else just to try and weaken the defenses for on the A-bomb site, which is the first here. And down goes Shox on the ramp. So they could search for that T-bomb site now. Zywu deletes it as well. And that is a great pair of entries from Double Pony. 24 seconds to plant the bomb. Apex has to concentrate on the payload here. He's got to take out the bomb carrier. There he is. Find some time for the team. Can he stay alive? No. The trade is here from Afro. Now leaves Kyojin in the wrong place at the wrong time. 10 seconds. Nothing he can do. What better round is there to describe like the form that Vitality are in right now? Where it, it, at the moment it feels like, okay, that's just a strong call. They clearly knew Squeaky was the point of attack. For whatever reason, the tell was there, the fake exact, they read into it, and then they committed hard to constantly stopping that. And they get double point to go back outside because to, to get them scared, to make them think they need to go out for map control or try something new. And then they get shocks to even push into ramp because they know that for sure all these guys are still in lobby. They come down into the ramp. Shocks can't win his duel versus the MAC-10. They lose the second entry downstairs. And it's like, you know, you can give Vitality points for showing the work. They knew exactly what to do, but they didn't actually have the solution. Their aim wasn't there. They couldn't actually stop the entries. It was just frictionless getting downstairs. And even if they had gotten one kill, we could even talk about a retake. We could even talk about, you know, Apex getting into a better spot downstairs. But both Zywu and Shocks failed just on the mechanical level. And you can't even talk about that now. As Apex, it's a hard conversation to have. Yeah. CT spawn so much further up than it used to be on Nuke. This map has had so many changes. The raft is outside disappearing. Somebody was, um, there was a player who was tweeting recently asking for those to come back. Actually, I forget who it was. Maybe we'll uh, get some opinions on the current state of the map a little later on.
Got some plans here from Double Pony, it seems, and a lot of Desert Eagles to try and stop them. Apex has a look, says hello. Completely blind, though, and deleted by Joko to make his way through. Second kill for him. So far, so good. And Kyojin again is left with the M4A4. Not much space to really contribute to this round. Really needs to try and hold on to the money if he can. Every dime will help Vitality as they look for their first round on the CT side of New. Man, we're almost meeting our quota of, you know, of T-side rounds. It's such a good half already. They have rounds to work with. And um, because they won that last rifle round so clean, they've got so much money left over on all these players. They can just try stuff in these following rounds. And that's the scariest thing for Vitality at this point, that you know they've lost a round with the correct read. They clearly, you know, double, double point, are getting confidence. Now you can even try the same stuff and still not see success. So the pressure is really mounting. And I'm quite happy to see this game in particular because Kyojin's demo was the, the, the first demo I watched from him was him on Nuke replacing RPK because that was my most kind of familiar position for him. And, uh, you know, he's up there in the back of the site uh, trying to hold him down, but looked quite nervous in that first game, but is a player who has shown so much promise from before in his fr all these amazing frag movies he has on YouTube, like he clearly has such a such a high ceiling, but hasn't realized it just yet. And no, um, I found that him and Masuda playing upper, it almost felt like uh, it, I don't want to use this term exactly, but you know the blind leading the blind in the sense that yeah. they did, there was not much leadership upstairs, and it clearly felt like they weren't playing off each other correctly. But it, I think it's necessary for Masuda to really take the charge because he is the more experienced player at this point. Well, Zaiwu expecting a similar start from Double Pony will punish them for doing so. Are a few smokes outside from Double Pony as well, but you have the right spawn for the for the job there. And he has announced his presence. I'll slow down Double Pony for now, but they're looking to make an entry. Oh, a Lucky's gone deep in towards CT Vent, but to no avail. Five versus two. This is exactly the kind of round that Vitality needed. They need players alive and rounds. That's Double Pony. You can see Afro's got almost $10,000, so the pressure will remain high. Second AWP is announced in the hands of Shox. Mm. We'll drop a smoke and leave Afro alone now. Again, it's about just keeping those numbers high, limiting the damage for Vitality. Because they need every penny, and that is a perfect round. Almost no damage. Actually, no damage at all. Kyojin just taking some damage at the end there. I, you know, I, I'm a big fan of when you have a lead like this to like throw caution to the wind, keep trying to keep the momentum high, and see if you can get away with another fast round. Because I feel like it's the least dignified way to lose when you know someone just barges into your site or it just goes for something quick and then still dumpsters you, even though you were prepared for at least that part. So I think it's all good for Double Pony to try a round like that. They still got rounds to work with. Vitality are still going to be on full alert. They've got you know an expensive buy here with the two ops they need to protect, and this means that Double Pony I think are still going to be feeling very good at this moment, and right now can almost get away with anything. Now Double Pony know that Vitality have two AWPs. I do wonder if they'll go for some kind of counter, if their next play will be based on. Oh, oh you gotta love those angles. That is targeted. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you gotta be real careful about being around that blue box. So important to go through with those spams sometimes because. Everyone's human, right? Like, everyone's got their favorite spots that they play. And you're almost always going to find them there one out of three rounds. So, like, if you can go for that spam safely, why not try it? And, you know, you'll be hard-pressed to see MBK trying that spot in the first, you know, 30 seconds in any of these next rounds coming up. Well, some folks have been deployed outside. Double Pony know that there are still two AWPs lurking. And we reach the sub 50 second mark. NBK loses the duel to Kyojin. We got a very well timed Molotov as well, but Kyojin has been traded. Man advantage for Double Pony. Does Lucky go in first with such little HP? Try and create space for the team. Indeed, he doesn't. Here they are. There's a trade once again. Smoke up on main. So I'm trying to find an edge here. Bombs being planted. Joker by CT Vent. Almost, but not quite. And again. Not the run Vitality needed. Oof. They haven't really built their money too great just yet. We can see zyber has got 1,400. If Shocks can hold on to this AWP, then maybe they can get a reasonable buy. Most of them can full buy in the next round. So it's really crucial he's able to hold on to this. Yeah, they were just, you know, carrying diamonds this round with the two AWPs. So they got to keep him alive. And I mean, Shocks knows this round's not even over for him. They're going to quietly try to excavate outside and see about his favorite save positions without losing too many members. And he does not want to take a duel. He wants to go full pacifist tuck in a corner and wait. And it looks like they, they kind of pass. There's no duel that comes about. So this is nice for Vitality at least. But here's around where, okay, 
you have on the one hand, um, Kyojin gets a kill and a half, which is a reasonable hold overall. Would have been better to get two, of course, and then die, but his teammate doesn't get one, and then everything falls like a house of cards. And it's just a site being this point of attack for Double Pony working out so well. It just, again, has to be incredibly discouraging for Vitality because strategically, there's not a whole lot going on there when it comes down to an upper hold. The CTs have an advantage with two, um, but a really strong site exec and one player, you know, not putting up their end of the bargain uh, frag wise can just ruin everything. So. As long as there is a weakness there, I can see why Double Pony want to keep going towards it. Now they've got this Lurk Strat with Body rushing his way down into Secret, taking over control of it. But Afros here set up the same flash for when they wanted to try that, try to do that upper bust with you know Squeaky in Vault, and it feels like Vitality kind of get the inkling that this might be a similar fake to before. They resmoke Squeaky. They're playing it cool, they're not over-rotating, and they definitely haven't rotated too many down inner. I think that's the best sign for them. Oh, Apex caught on the reload. That would have been a kill otherwise, and somehow Body's still alive, trying to draw players towards this B bomb site. But only one player's been spotted, really harassing, opening the door as well. We'll see if there's a rotation. In the meantime, MBK's picked off Misuta on the A bomb site. We have an AWP on the high ground, moves to the low, straight in the head through the wall from Zaibu as well. Looking for the uh, trade fraggers moving around a squeaky position, but he's got Kyojin up high with two. Vitality turning things around again. Smoking off the choke point, they have control of the bomb as well. 45 seconds for Double Pony to do some more damage. They still have a full buy in the hole. Mm. NBK really needs to try and do what he can here. It looked like they might have found an opening, but like you mentioned it right away. Uh, they only saw one person down lower. So as cool as it was, that body actually got around the corner. Now it's like, oh no, we let him go free. We've got to take account for that. They didn't see anybody else downstairs, so they didn't make that hasty rotation. And that just meant that Vitality could focus down upstairs. Another good round from Kyojin here. That he actually gets two full on this time around. And this is even though Masuda has died, and he's definitely failed a couple of times um, in, in holding kind of on squeaky. But uh, this is also a moment where, you know, Zaiwu really has to just make a committed rotation. He just comes upstairs, tries to fill in for his fallen teammate on the upper site, and just be like, I know you're coming here. Apex is giving me some good information. I'm going to focus down on Hut. Kyojin, you can, like, watch watch Squeaky from the top of Hut, and we have upper on lock. Okay, so there was an option for damage for NBK, but there was an, also an AWP, which could be the golden egg. Chooses to pick that one up instead, mm. save the team some money. And off they go. Six to two. What's Vitality still looking to stabilize their economy. What's the strat you call here, James? T side. Ooh. Pick of the litter, really. Yeah, I think partly they might look at spawns and so on. Maybe go for a, a cheeky peek in, in Squeaky. It doesn't happen on this occasion. Then it will be a, a much faster play, actually, trying to catch them off guard. And indeed, they will do exactly that. Two massive kills in the A bomb site. Apex looking for the transfer, not the one he wanted, though. Three on two now, and it's still a chance for Zai Wu, but Body has just got the spray in time. Shock's now one versus three. Oh, they full on disrespect that squeaky smoke. Comes through, they don't worry about it. They come out hut first, and they just come through with this tempo you just don't expect it. Almost every single time they waited so long. Looks like he's going for it. We'll see if he's offered anything. Can he get a 1v1? Because he see some jump peeking. Not sure if he can hear that from his position. Possibly. Not looking for it just yet. He doesn't, oh, he does have a diffuse kit actually. But uh, I don't think he's going to be given what he wants unless he goes to the point of no return. Yeah. So he may be hiding in plain sight here. But indeed, a change of pace. Very successful for Double Pony. Again, they've gone for the double pumps or threats of double pumps into that A bomb site. But here they just charge straight in. It feels like they definitely, they're just like targeting, they're just targeting up or over and over again. And then, uh, I think also focusing more so towards Kyojin with a lot of hut presence early on, yeah. where I think most teams favor pressuring Squeaky as much as possible because of how annoying it can be to hold. But uh, Vitality have put a lot of resources into making sure to smoke uh, Squeaky repeatedly early on in rounds. And um, Kyojin overall, I think, has done a, a pretty decent job in general. I mean, overall, I mean, of course, everyone seems to be struggling a bit, but not too, too bad from what we've seen already from his previous games. But it feels like they're definitely trying to take advantage of the fact that this is another high pressure match for him and he's new to the team and he hasn't been amazing in this spot. Double Pony, 71% on Nuke with 24 maps played in the last three months. Mm. Vitality sitting at 56% with nine. But across the board, Double Pony have just been playing so much more CS recently mm. than Vitality. Mm. And again, I think I think form 
you can take a read into that. Vitality probably coming in a bit colder than their opponent, but we'll see as the best of three plays out how that will go. You can see the map picks at the top of the screen. Oh, I know exactly. I mean, even if they're not playing of quality teams, they are playing more. Yeah. And that, that just matters. And these other teams are very good too in the tier two. So oiling the machine at WD40. It's, it's looks like it's coming again. There's a pop flash. There's a counter pop flash from Kyojin trying to delay the troops, but the numbers game is coming through. Afro with a great start, and they just can't find the kills on this A bomb site. Saibu's so got to do more. So far, so good. He's found two. Got a third one on the way, but Joko will deny him and take his head off his shoulders. Still doable for Vitality Shocks and Apex. One kit between them. Apex on the ladder doing what he can. That's the bomb carrier as well. The fadeaway with the HE grenade and Shocks is in position now. 2-1-2 two two Apex still alive. The bomb's been dropped and bodies on the flag. Almost messes up the spray. Spots Apex as well. 1v1. Apex has to win this one. They've got no money oh. otherwise, but he can't. Body again. Making it 8-2. to two, A monstrous T side for Double Pony so far. No way he finds that headshot. Come out of heaven. And that's Apex with a full flash. And honestly, shout out to Apex. It looked kind of stupid, standing on the ladder, shooting as much as they could, but he was such a nuisance to them. They couldn't kill him. They knew that he could pop out a squeaky at any point. And he also, they also knew that the CTs were desperate and that he was going to try at some point. So he did such a good job of getting some damage in, applying pressure, and also using all of his utility. Even his nade from the ladder did damage to help his player in heaven coming in to get the kill. And then eventually, you know, through the flash to blind body, but body again. Lucky to find that final headshot in that last moment and pull that round back from Double Pony. I mean, that moment almost made Zywoo the Messiah, you know, standing there right behind the Molly, getting the two kills. If he got the third, it would have been a lock. But uh, this is all, in spite of the fact that we had an, you know, abysmal upper hold once again, Kyoja Masuda, no kills between the two of them. Um, for Kyojin, the Molly lands beside him. He pushes towards Hut, just gets opt instantly. So again, it just feels like they're targeting him. This is going to be a very interesting round. Vitality have got two auto shotguns. So they're going to have to play up close. Mm. Obviously, the auto shotgun's got a better spread, but no spread needed for Zywoo. Just one bullet. Off he goes. Oh, there's another one. Repositioned so fast. Oh, my <laughs> God. He's absolutely destroying them, Zywoo. Two more to find. Joko and Lucky. Oh, man. He's just covering his options here. Wouldn't want to be Joko. No kidding. Feels like his days are limited. Oh, there's a flank as well. So even if he corners... Oh my god, he's ready for it, uh, Joko. But Zywoo looking for his fifth now. Lucky wants to be anywhere but there. He has to retrieve the bomb, however. This is interesting. Uh, does Zywoo have it in... Rain? Like, has he seen the bomb? Straight on? Oh, they dropped the, they the bomb red. carrier. Yeah. So there is. looks like there's a timing here. It's unlikely, but if Lucky just decides to walk all the way up and... He may oh, have heard okay. Zywoo rotating somewhat, but what can he really do about it? He has a flashbang, oh. uh, Lucky. But Zywoo just keeps on moving. Yeah. And, you know, just the kind of player he is, of course, he's going to be very aware of any potential threat. But Lucky is making a lot of ground here, coming up nice and close, and crouches underneath the scope of Zywoo to get the headshot. Knows the bomb is here outside red, and it is... Just this double, uh, the shotgun to hold upper from lobby. 20 seconds on the clock. Lucky is going to Molly in the correct place just to get in Shox's head and ends up making the rotation downstairs. This is ambitious, but it's also the correct play. Yeah, I don't think Shox can get down in time now. Drops the smoke as well. Has no idea where Shox is. Has to shift walk with the shotgun. This would be quite the clutch. If he even comes across another weapon, if he picks it up, he gives his position away. So he's more or less got a creep of the auto here. He has a diffuse kit. Now, this could be, I mean, uh, is the glass broken in control? Probably isn't right now. I don't think so, yeah. So, Shox doesn't have the range. Surely it's a two shot if he goes through the doors. Check it. Oh, oh, it is broken. One is, yeah. Uh oh. It's got to start running now. And uh, didn't stand much of a chance there. Very awkward position. Great effort from Zaibu, but four wasn't enough. Again, uh, yeah, it's like, oh man, he tried he tried his hardest in a couple of these a couple of these rounds. The pieces are just falling around him, and yeah, I mean, he couldn't have been more aware in the sense that like he tried to cover the bomb, get to a really safe spot, really didn't play close to it inside a big garage, maintain his distance from the rifle. But you got to give it up to Lucky. I mean, the awareness to find both of them in the one v two. First of all, to understand how shocks would rotate and be so confident about it, and then to also crouch under the scope do of exactly Zaiwu, I think was pretty kind of fantastic by him. He's got to be proud of himself for making those moves. 
Uh, not an easy man to hunt down by any means. So nine to two up, they've won these rounds just by, you know, brute force. They've won them in the clutch by being really smart. And they've, you know, even won some rounds that were slower that it felt like Vi Vitality knew exactly what they were going to do. So, I mean, when I look at this, it's just, you know, it really doesn't feel like Vitality are the favorites in this match. I mean, I, pick, I picked Double Pony just because they're funny video on Twitter, but I didn't know this was coming. But I guess you did. I'm the, I'm the king of predictions. Maybe you knew. Maui's trying to say otherwise because of the last flashpoint, but mm. I had to pull out the double diamonds from the last two majors, you know. I think that's worth that's worth a lot. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. you got to respect that. It demands respect. I have a lot of excuses for why I don't have mine, but um, I don't make excuses, so you're not going to hear them from me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you have them. You're They're just there, not going to yeah, make I mean, them. You're not going to reveal them. In case you were wondering, I definitely have excuses. <laughs> I'm not going to know what they I are. I have I'm excuses, but I'm not going to deploy no them. Way, yeah. I'm not that kind of guy. Well, lots of close range weapons here for Vitality. The MP9 moving accuracy is fantastic, of course. The CZ, which used to be better than the FAMAS at kind of close to medium range. 5-7. The auto once again. Now, this could be a massacre, but we haven't seen many of those in Vitality's favor thus far. Oh, boy. Is that going to be hilarious or tragic? Uh-oh. Yeah, he's landed next to nothing there. <clears throat> well, then, there's the entry into the ramp position. Vitality look to be on the way downstairs, but Body is coming in round the back, which leaves Masuta and Apex to become victims, more or less. I don't expect much else. However, there are 25 seconds on the clock here. The pony moves towards the A bomb site. They've got high ground advantage, so I don't think there'll be any thwarting of the bomb plants. The the uh, auto shot is kind of like it's uh, every every shot is a kill, or you don't get anything. That's pretty much how it goes. Uh, really, no in between. So, have you ever ridden ridden a pony? Uh, no, no, I've never. I went on a horse in Egypt, but it looks like I was on a pony. Because you're so big? Because I'm massive. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, uh, what's a distinctive that. characteristic of a pony? Do they always have, like, a white mane? I know they're small. They're they small-ass like, they small like like horses. Yeah. They should have made their name double small-ass horses. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really roll off the tongue, though, does it? That's true, yeah. I mean, if it was just small-ass horses, that would be what? Yeah. S-A-H. Yeah. Okay, double pony. Let's go double pony. Double pony. Maybe that's, maybe that's what they did, though. They went through the whole rationale. Because they're that smart. I mean, clearly they've got, like, you know, tactical brilliance and branding genius as well. Mm. Um, d still don't know what the two, you know, why is it double? What's going on there? Is it because they pulled the chariot? I want to see NBK and horse riding gear. Yeah. I mean, knowing you, you probably could make this happen <laughs> in real life at some <laughs> point. So I'm very capable of a great many things. Hey, wait the video. Masuta is one for ten at present. I mean, he's been bombing. It's not great, and he. I mean, he got so much better too on the on this roster. Ooh, it's a bad miss. Yeah, that is. Looks to trade for some damage. It looks like the spam's on, but Apex is far back outside. We got two very aggressive positions around T Red outside from Vitality. But again, with the focus on the A bomb site. What impact will this have? We still have the great utility from Double Pony. I don't know if they've blown off the door yet. Of course, their first HE grenade missed, and that could uh, have quite an effect uh, on the rest of this round. Just the harassment from Squeaky would be dramatically different if mm. they can't blow off the door. Yeah, no, that can actually make a world of difference for sure. The T's want that out just because it makes it such a nightmare to cross up. But the smokes keep going down in front of Squeaky, and this seems like such a good part of the game plan for Vitality. It just doesn't seem to be the only key that they need to win. Now the rush oh comes in on God. Shocks, but Shocks can't get one on ramp again. Lucky finds that duel, forces Apex to rotate so hastily downstairs, and now he's kind of in an obvious position, but he still manages to get that first kill. Two-man swing, it won't be enough, but the third man will do the job there. Body leaving Zaiwu in a one versus three. In that respect, it's worst-case scenario for um, Double Pony that Zaiwu is the last man standing, but the sound cues will surely be heard now. The scope has been heard. Joko knows exactly where he is. So the rest of his team can do what needs to be done. Too many man on road for Vitality to deal with. 11 from 13 rounds on the T side for Double Pony. I hate to be a negative Nando, but is Nando a name? How dare you, Nando? <laughs> Nancy. I try to be relatable for you, James. Okay, well, I hate to be a negative Nancy, but... It felt like if you can't watch this demo. Negative Nigel. Oh, there Let's not go. make it about women. 
Yeah, <laughs> sure. We get negative Nigel. Negative oh, Nigel. Just, yeah. Um, and um, I lost my train of thought. Okay, so like the amount of times that Shocks has made a correct play by like pushing up to an angle or like getting in a good position for one and just not getting a kill. I mean, what can you say if you're ex Taz? You watch the demo with your team. You know, like Shocks already knows. Like I'm supposed to. He's going to take accountability there and be like, I I need to get that kill. I need to get two there. He's not making the wrong play. He's just not getting the frag. And I mean, it's hard to chalk it up to more than that. Yeah, and, and we have to say, like, Masuta's got a really hard job in this particular matchup on the A bomb site. You, you saw him yeah. uh, by Squeaky behind the smoke, and he was still getting sprayed down. He was lucky to survive at that point. Obviously, he died later on, but yeah. he was uh, the sprayed down to the red, like, wherever he stands. If he goes around hot, he's getting entries by double pony, mm. wall bangs um, around the blue box, and etc. Yeah, I mean, the execs are good, that's for sure. Now, I will say the only thing is, if you're not having success like Shox isn't, oh no, they're actually turning up the temp temperature here. Afro comes out, Shox oh finally finds his kill. A rotation comes down. Apex was going to go secret here, so they might he might have found a timing. But it looks like he got spotted a couple of times now rotating downstairs. This makes his life worse. This is just pure confidence play oh, now from Double Pony, and the True. Pony is on the way. Stampede into the B bomb site. Three on three, though. But there are sound cues, of course, as Body is still lurking. Still on the A bomb site, two plays. Waiting for that late rotation. Kyojin able to take out the lurker. And that is a man advantage. A rare one, it feels like, for Vitality. No diffuse kits on the three remaining players. Perhaps they'll find one as they move forward. Joko moves through control very quietly, but Masuta's just holding the angle for now. This could be awkward for Joko as he starts to move through. Down he goes, leaving NBK now one versus three. They're all from the door to two man spray down, but Zaiwu is there to trade. Two bursts, in fact. Great executions, yeah. literally, from Double Pony. But Vitality get a much-needed third round on the board. Yeah, whatever they can take at this point, and then they can talk about the second half. I mean, they're capable of winning. They've got a game plan deep enough. They've made comebacks versus better teams. So, you know, it's still going to give them the benefit of the doubt in the second half, especially if we're talking about four rounds at least. But, yeah, for the moment, I mean, it's just more of the same. And the only thing I will say about Shocks is that he is making Apex's life harder by dying so early. Because if he does do the more standard way of, like, standing on the box and seeing someone dropping down and then, you know, rotating downstairs. At least that way, he slows down the rotation so Apex can get into a better spot and lower. But it almost feels like Apex is forced to, like, get these two miraculous frags downstairs or, like, run into control and hopefully win his first duel um, way too often. Oh, this time they don't blow off the door. Zyber was waiting. Still get some damage at the very least. Masuta oh. taking a wine bottle to the face. It's like being in London. <laughs> Shocks now again. Oh my god, what happened there? I think somebody That's there was maybe a bullet. flash there or something, but uh, so far so good for Shocks. He's finally delivering on the ramp position. It's done enough for Zaiwu to get a third. Four versus two now. Kind of a bumper car is executed. Looks like they team flash, maybe. Yeah, I saw some hands up. Oh, this is actually interesting because I like, did they have any idea someone could have gotten downstairs? Because if not, it looks like they're not watching this whatsoever. But the problem is, of course, that body is the only other player. So they can't really cause enough paranoia, I think, on the CT side to do anything with this. And Apex finds his kill, I think, Masuda. Oh, he doesn't know at least, but, uh, you know, 50 seconds up 1v4, you'd think impossible. Unless almost the second kill right away. 45 seconds up. He's got one target in the corner. And Joko finds that. Bomb can get retrieved potentially. Zaiwu camping on it. And can't think of a better player to have in this spot, but a smoke could actually change the game here. Potential to go for an open plant, and Joko is going to try to make that five head. Galaxy brain play come through the smoke right into the lying arms of Zaiwu, and that is the end of the half. Four to 11. This is the first game of the European RMR. We're headed to a break. We'll see you back here shortly for the second half. Move into the second half with a mere four CT rounds. It will have to be done the hard way. Double Pony looking very strong indeed. Savaging mm. the A-bomb site time after time after time. You believe in horoscopes, James? Uh, Maui certainly does. Yeah, that's true. He's very good at them, too. He's actually making us believers. But the question was because these 11 forced core lines, like Zonic talked about, you know, the the, the ones where the, the comebacks always seem to happen. Is that is, is that going to be the case today? Vitality with four rounds here on T side. You know, they have enough tools in the box to be able to scare Double Pony and get away with a good plan. But do they have the aim right now? It feels like individually they can't even keep up. Well, that's a brief start from Lucky on the A-bomb site. The smokes have been deployed. NBK still in that heaven position. 
Needs to try and stay alive, though, with a bit of harassment. Some poking prodding needs his team to be in position. Got to wait out those smokes as well. Joker's got a HE grenade. I'm curious to see where that might end up. Could be a meaty one. There it goes towards Hart. And I think it landed on, oh, I was going to say Zaiwu's head, but somehow it did about three damage. I think it should have killed him, really. But here they go, charging in with the numbers. Awkward angles for all. 2-1-2 two, two now, body with a defuse kit. Shock's hiding around the smoke. Popping out now with his teammate, and now it's just Joko. Got to get that reload in. Got to find the kit as well. Surely 19 HP. This is going to be real awkward for him. He's pushed forward, picked up the kit as he go for a defuse. Won't even make it there. Zaiwu will finish him off. And Vitality win their T side pistol. Uh, but uh, Zaiwu again kind of comes through, and he's the hero inside of the hut. Actually, love that retake. The way that they layered the attack. They went through the flash at one point. They had the nades to come through. They had the late hut smoke. So like they let them get comfortable in getting inside hut first. But Zaiwu made the smart move of coming out and disrespecting and realizing what the game plan was and saved his teammates who were under underneath the heaven who managed to kind of you know fail their trades and came through with three kills so i think that made a really really big difference and this does make the game a lot more real i mean five rounds now and this is always the point where we see like our vitality that low in confidence are they going to suddenly lose the force up um these are the kinds of rounds especially when you're you're kind of doing so badly in the game that I'm kind of, I'm really looking at the clock first and foremost. Are you wasting too much time? Do you look like, the, does it look like the decisions aren't there? Or are you giving the pistols too many openings? And I think that's what Double Pony wants because they're low on utility. So they just want kills like these. Oh man, he's not in an easy position to clear out either. Man, the guy's game sense is just absurd. Mm. He knows that there's potential opportunity presented to Double Pony. Some nice spray. Every time I turn on my stream, someone has to say Forsaken. And bring <laughs> that up. <laughs> like, guys, give me one one day off from calling me Nav or talking about Forsaken. 42 seconds on the clock. This could still be somewhat threatening for Vitality. Got Apex downstairs with a MAC-10. Easy information, man. Proactiveness from Double Pony, though, in the lobby. And that's a rifle collected by Joko. Ooh. Some town cues that are nobody's by CT, but they got a crossfire. Jumping in to create some space. Down goes the bomb. And shocked in a one versus two now. They can hold off angles. 20 seconds for him to plant that bomb. And he will not be able to do it. That is a catastrophe. That's a Hindenburg right there. Oh, man. Yeah, that blimp exploded. That's very unfortunate. And I actually think that they moved quite deliberately. We had a couple of cool positions where they managed to get the kill. You know, that double deagle spam on that off angle and someone dropping out of uh, off the top of the um, off the top of mini. Excuse me. I'm not surprised he got that kill. I thought that was a really cool angle to use. So I almost don't blame Vitality for that one. But then after they get picked apart there, they rush it upstairs, and that crossfire is too strong. The guy opposite vent has like 10 HP, so I can see why they wanted to chase him down. But uh, Joko's aim was amazing. I mean, with that glue spray, and I'm getting that first kill. Even if that guy got by with 10 health, that whole round could have fallen apart. So, you know, by the skin of their teeth, they win it. But they'll take it all day. Well, zyru has got that. No, never mind. He's dead. Maybe the rifle can be collected. The shadow there giving the position away. And the kills just keep on coming. Masuta utterly deleted. Jeez. There's something in the water. I think Vitality might be playing from Flint, Michigan, because... They're not looking very healthy right not now. Not very clean, yeah. Uh, I mean, Zai was aiming in the right spot, but like the AK is going to let you down, especially versus an AUG. The AUG outside is damn near as good as an AUG because of how much how versatile it is, plus how reliable it is at that distance. So, I mean, even though Zai looks super sharp right now, 21 and 12, and like switched up to that second target perfectly, he's still ha he's still a victim to the you know first bullet accuracy of the AK itself, and. Um, yeah, that's all Vitality had to work with on that cross outside. Every right in the world to try to take that fight versus another rifle, but you know, without him winning it, clearly his team just doesn't have odds. They're using him. They're relying on him too much. Looks like this may be a brief game of nuke. Yeah, Inferno up next. This is Vitality's, or sorry, this is Double Pony's map pick, and then Vitality picked Inferno. So it might be a different story then. But, oh wait, Apex wants us to eat our words. Find a kill with that P250, cause some problems upstairs. But the rest of the CTs are having no trouble getting kills. And now it's just Shocks rotating up with a sliver of HP with a Glock. Into upper. 
and will eventually get shot in the side of the head by Afro. 14 to 5, not the scoreline I expected to see, even if there was going to be an upset. This is a very strong map for Vitality. Zai was one of the best um, nuke players in the game. Probably, I think, second best in stats with Device closely behind him in the last, like, 12 months. Overall, a very comfortable map. Um, and, I mean, I even feel like in that first half, the calls, if they were Apex's calls, were actually oftentimes quite good. I really feel like it was a mechanical failure a lot of these times from his teammates that uh, let him down. Five to 14, five AKs on road. Close to the last chance for Vitality. They're in the barber's chair and Double Pony have got all the razors on the neck of Vitality, it seems. It's like one of my irrational fears that a barber is just going to do me in one day. <laughs> to have a bad day. Oof. An easy frag for Afro. That's an important player out. There's 5v4s and then there's, you know, killing Zaiwu uh, like right away. So yeah. that, uh, He's 21 for 14. Yeah, it's actually... He, of course, is the outlier for the squad. No surprises there. BK will hold his position. Even this level of delaying, you know, was something that Vitaly couldn't even do in that, in that first half, right? Just getting some damage and falling off. Like MBK in that position, or getting an opening kill at ramp and staying alive. I mean, that was hard enough. Right. There's 35 seconds left on the clock here. They've got their first entry in the garage. So here's the house, whatever you like. Yeah, here's a point where I think the rotation will come up to heaven, and they'll just try to focus down on upstairs because there's no way it can be lower anymore. Oh, baited into a crossfire as well. Death by paper cuts here. Double Pony are in complete control on Nuke as they reach game points. Damn, what can you say about that? I mean, they, they stopped the aggression at ramps, 4v5. There's no way for uh, Vitality to cause any distractions or, like, make presence slower anymore. MBK gets some damage and then falls back, but they don't actually push through. There's no threat of this, you know, group up lower that MBK wouldn't know about. And then upstairs, they've got this rock-solid crossfire uh, between two players and a fast rotation and someone coming up secret fast behind him as well. So many options, so many ways out for a double pony. Looking crispy clean. My goodness. I mean, it's still, you know, as I would showcase here with this fantastic scout shot, but it might just be a consolation prize. A bit more damage here on Lucky, but body equalizes on another part of the map. Oh, it's equal no more. Shocks. Trying to keep things alive here for Vitality. Three versus three. Still very ill equipped. Two rifles, one of which is a scout for Vitality. Masuta on a Tech 9. So I was able to upgrade to a Galil. So that's something. We can see Double Pony being very proactive here. Moving around, trying to identify the player Vitality. And the net is closing on Vitality. They may not realize just how much. Hmm. Oh, MBK seems a little bit worried about something going on at ramp, but he's got a strong angle. I mean, this dodge just flashes oh! nice and off and ooh, gets the damage in. So I will get away with his life, though. Yeah, they were really lining, lining up for him there. Broken glass, but body chooses to go elsewhere. Stay on the high ground on the rafters, and there we go. Shocks now. He's got 35 seconds, one versus two. Only knows where one is, and it's a very awkward peek for him. Seen the leg, though. Now, where is the last man? Where does he plant? 28 seconds, and the flank is on the way. It'll be free for Joko, and there it is. 16 to 5, double pony, absolutely dominating vitality. Foot on the head, face in the mud. They were never in this game. I was really impressed by uh, uh, by Double Pony, for sure. I mean, individually and everything. But I do feel like a better version of Vitality would have obviously put up a better fight. I mean, maybe even won that. Because it just felt like some of the calls in the first half were actually kind of decent. But nobody could meet those calls halfway with the frag. In other, you know, the upper the upper holds falling apart between Masuda and Kyojin. Shock's not holding on a ramp. And I hate to boil it down to that. But it really felt like that was the most important part of that game. 